A very great evening to you all. Welcome to a very new ECC streamer on the Tuesday evening. My name is Dennis and I'm casting today a very new Champions Division match. But before we go any further, I want you to introduce uh, a streamer, a caster. It's uh, Nader. Welcome to the stream. Cheers. Thanks, Dennis, for having me. Uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's exciting to be part of the ECC crew now. And hopefully we get a few good casts in throughout the season. Yeah, it's going to be a really good one, because today, I already said, we have a Champions Division match. It's in the Champions Conference 1, and again, we've saw Cypher Orange already a few times on stream, and today we see them again. They will be battling it out against Tilt 7 Vision. And if we have a look on both teams, we see Cypher Orange, they have two wins and one lose in three games. And Stealth 7 Vision, they only played one game and lost that game with 3-0. They got swept in Week 1 um, by pushing gaming, but... I'm really seeing a good matchup here, Nader. It's going to be a really good one. So um, I think it's time to just go to the prediction. So who are you backing for this game? Cypher Orange or Stealth 7 Vision? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with Cypher on this one. I know Vision have only, uh, Stealth Division have only played one game and lost it, but I like the way Cypher lost their first game and then bounced back with two good wins in the second game. It shows that they're like, they figured out like they they lost the first game and they were like, "Hey, we need to work on something here that wasn't good enough, especially getting sweeps." So they bounced back well to win two games in a row, and I'm hoping, I'm thinking they're gonna keep their momentum going and go get their third win in, uh, or in a row here. Yeah, I would say that Cypher Orange is gonna take this as well. I mean, they've had a good season so far, being the underdogs promoting from. <clears throat> The Division 1 last season, being first place in Division 1, and they actually have a really good season so far in the highest division of ECC here in the Champions Division. Uh, last time, last um, last week, they got um, Game 5 against, I can't really remember, I think it was Pushing Game, yeah, in um, in Game 5 they lost. Uh, but Zyphe Orange are definitely a good side there in the Champions Division. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting a lot from this series. Um, so Zyphe Orange... They are really good players, and the, their aggressive playstyle we saw from last season, they're actually doing it um, as well here in this Champions Division, and it really works out for them, being there in the third place here in the Champions Conference 1. Well, Stealth Vision, they are in the shared sixth place, um, having just only played one game and uh, got swept there by pushing gaming, but nevertheless, they only played one game, everything can happen, and Stealth, Stealth 7 Vision, they can still, you know, Go, go for the playoff spot in the top three. So, um, where do you expect South 7 Division, actually, Naylor? Where, where do you think they'll finish up at the end of the season? Um, it'll be hard. It, this, this will be a very important game just to get them going, really, because they've only played one game so far, so it'd be hard It'd be hard to tell. It's still very early days in the season, so if they they just need to really get a, a win under their belt first and foremost and then just uh, look to take it from there, really. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we're just going to see how that's going to turn out. I mean, a very important game for both teams, actually, because Cypher Orange, they want to keep in the top three here because they are still in the top three, but Luxury Esports is in, on an Esports as well are just lurking for that top three as well, being just one game away from the top three. But Cypher Orange will try to keep um, to keep this series theirs because it's uh, it's a really important one to keep in a top three spot. It's a Stealth 7 vision in the shared sixth place and Cypher Orange really expecting to beat Stealth 7 here. And, you know, we predicted as well that Cypher Orange would be Stealth 7 vision in this uh, in this series, but as you're going to see how it turns out, uh, we're just still waiting on uh, both players, on both teams um, to uh, join the lobby until we go uh, start the series up. But... Staff Orange, of course, it's been a really good season for them so far in Stealth 7 Vision. They gotta do something else after they got swept by pushing gaming. Of course, it's only been one game, but <clears throat> it's still Stealth 7 Vision. They, they are really low in the table right now. That's not where they want to end up in uh, the Champions Division at the end of this season. But, um, yeah. I'm expecting a lot from Staff Orange. We've seen them already a few times on stream uh, the last couple of weeks and still Stealth 7 Vision. We haven't seen anything from there yet, but it's um, yeah, it's, a bit, it's gonna be a great one. Cypher Orange, it's uh, it's a really good season for them so far, being the underdogs. And um, yeah, you know, I've predicted them the last few weeks to to lose their series actually because they were the underdogs. But now we are predicting them uh, to win this series. So you know, why do you think actually, Naila? Why do you think Cypher Orange will take this series? Um. 
Well, it was just, I'd say maybe the first week they were just, as you said, they only got promoted. They were probably like a little bit first week jitters and just kind of a bit nervous in their first game because after you can see they've responded very well after the first game and just got a bit of momentum in, behind, in their stride now. But then again, Celtic Vision, can, they're in the same position that Zypher were in after the first week and they, Zypher were one, uh, lost their first game. So Celtic could easily do what Zypher just done and lose their first game but get two on the, get two, uh, the next two games under the books and look much more comfortable for the season. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, you know, Cypher Orange, they really want to take this series to their side because it's a really important one. But um, people in the chat, let us know who you are backing for this series. Will it be Cypher Orange or will it be Stealth 7 Vision? Well, we're still waiting for both teams to join the game lobby. But it's uh, Stealth 7 Vision who's taking a really good Cypher Orange in this, uh, in this Champions Conference one. And the season has just begun, but Cypher Orange... They are about to play their fourth series, having a really good series, a really good season so far in the Champions Division, and they want to continue that. So, yeah, they lost in Week 3 against Pushing Gaming with 3-2, which was kind of unlucky for them. But still, it's uh, the first place they had to play against, so it's not a real big deal for them that they lost there in Game 5. But it definitely shows they're capable of um, having a good result against those top sides. I mean, a 3-2 against the first place, it's not a big deal, and it definitely shows they can end up in top three. And for Stealth Cyber Vision, we haven't seen much from them so far, but it's still, um, yeah, it's really interesting to see if they can uh, get a good result against Cypher Orange, if they are able to beat this very well Cypher Orange side in this Champions Division. But, uh, yeah, we're still waiting for the... Um, for, for the teams to join into the lobby until we begin. But yeah, we see a, we see a prediction there from Lee, who's going for Stealth 7 Vision. It's uh, yeah, it's really interesting to see if they can come up with uh, with a good plays there into, in, into the series against this good Cypher Orange side, as we see. Cypher Orange just joined the game lobby. But um, yeah, if you could give us uh, just a small prediction where both teams will finish up in the end of the se- at the end of the season, where would you think Zyph Orange will uh, will end up, and where do you think Stealth Seven Vision will end up? Um, it's 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 early days. It's really early to tell what what team's going to finish where, but it momentum's on Zyph Orange side. So if they can win maybe this in the next couple of games, they should make top two and. If Stealthy lose this, they're going to really have to pick it up in their next game because they'll be in trouble with being 0-2. Yeah, most definitely. You don't want to begin this, the season with an 0-2. That would put them just like Crimson Orcs and Cadellan's Tempest in last place. And that's not where they want to be. But finally, both teams are here. So we can say that we can go into Game 1 in the series between Zyphor and the Stealth 7 Vision. Game on about to get on the way between Cypher Orange and Stealth 7 Vision as we see TRG getting into left side to Camo. Camo tries to get it back into the middle. Night Shaver is there. On the side of Stealth 7 Vision, we see Night Shaver, Tim, and Hasso against Cypher Orange side of Camo, TRG, and TJX as we've seen in the last few weeks already. But we see TJX going up for this now. Can he get it again? He can't. Night Shaver trying to get it now from the wall. Camo. As you get again, but Hesso is there in the goal to save the shot. Stealth 7 Vision is still under pressure by the Zypher Orange side. Hesso tries to get out of their half. And again, we see the aggressive play still of Zypher Orange already. They just give everything an offense. And that's really the that's really their strength of Zypher Orange. That's also maybe what gets oh. them into this lead there. Very good goal by Zypher Orange. Yeah, that's a big demo on the goal line there. And I just... He whiffed anyway, big whiff from Hasso. Maybe he was low boost, but the good demo as well cleared the back post for uh, Camo to just slot away there. Yeah, and we've seen some goal line demos by Zypher Orange already in the last few weeks on the stream. It's really their playstyle, just aggressive playstyle. But here we see Stealth 7 Vision. Tim could almost get a dunk, but in the end, it's Hasso getting the finish for Stealth 7 Vision. 
yeah, that's a that's a very quick big response here. Camo gets dunked very hard by Tim there, and Hasso is just very smart there. He reads the play, knows exactly what's going on, and comes in to finish up. Yeah, a really good response there by South Seven Vision after being one 0 down. No, in already the first minute, it's against South Seven Vision equalized very quickly there. Hasso tries to get the ball to Nightshaver, but it gets just over him. Even though had Nightshaver went for that, DJX can get it out of his own half here. And he followed it, can he get a shot? That shave is there just waiting. Oh, he gets the clear. See the ball, no one really going for that. DRG has not much boost to work with, Hesso with an easy save. Gets it up, Camo is up. Can he get it? Got bombed by his own teammate. Not really good communication, seems like. See the ball getting to the corner, Tim. Get into the middle. DRG, can he get a redirect? Hesso is there, should take control. Night shave is there as well. Hesso tries to go on. Can he get it again? Team is all there to help his teammate out. DRG with the ball to TJX. Can he get a shot? He just can't. Team. Can't really find a hit on that now. He can. Camel going for the demo. Again, a good try for a demo on the goal line of Stealth 7 Vision. Esso gets to the middle, but TJX is there. Team with the save. Esso just passed the ball there to the Cypher Orange offender. But that's a good shot. Camo gets a second goal for Cypher Orange. Yeah, just. The both teams just kind of a bit awkward after the first goal, nobody really putting under pressure and then Camo just comes out with a big shot against the run of play and just great placement really, he just catches the pump, the, play, uh, the goalkeeper off and just slots it into the top corner near post. Yeah that's perfect placement by the offender of Cypher Orange and we didn't really see much pressure since the, since the goal cell 7 vision but there it is Cypher Orange got themselves the second goal with Roughly half time played, it's their game until now. They have much more shots as well. The, the first minute's all there, so now they're two one go up. Two one. See the ball now. Esso tries to get out of his own half. Esso still keeps on going. Goes to the middle. Tim, can you find a redirect? Goes from the backboard. TJX can find a clear. Esso is last man back. Tim is rotating back now as well though. TJX goes for the fake. Fakes one! Can he get it? No, he just can't nearly got it into the goal there. But it's now Hesso in the offense. Can he find someone in the middle? No, just two defenders. Cypher Orange there. Camo is an easy save. Gets to the left side. DJX will keep on following. But Naylor, it's been a really good match so far. 2 1 it is for Cypher Orange. And with three minutes played, it can go every side, to be fair. Yeah, the both teams very evenly matched. I think they both started off the game very nervously, but they're really sticking to each other now. And we're seeing some great Rocket League, Dennis. Yeah, we definitely seen some great Rocket League. We saw a very good shot of Zypher Orange early that made them the second goal of them in this series and in this game as well. It's uh, Tim now with the ball. TJX is there to catch the ball on the wall. Esso, can he do something with the ball? Goes to the middle, but no one really there for South 7 Vision. They need the offense because they still won't go down and they're not really pressuring Zypher Orange to be fair. It's, uh, they really need some more pressure on Zypher Orange side to be able to win this game one. But it's again here. Cypher Orange in the offense, no one really there from Cypher Orange to get a finish there onto the goal. He missed that by TJX. Esso also whiffs. He still gets plus one. TJX is there with the Fennec, just a good 50 by him. Nightshaver pops it up. Esso boost to work with though. Esso with a good redirect. So I'm there to shoot a good save by Camo. 50 seconds left. TJX will try to get it out of his own half. They are a bit under pressure now. That's exactly what Cell 7 Vision need. Camo just pops it up, not a really good pop up though. Free shot for Tim, but a good block by TRG. Camo gets up to the wall, Nightshave, can he get it again? Yes, he can. Camo is there. Blocked by Tim, and there we're seeing some good pressure by Stealth 7 Vision. But he's getting from the backboard. Double commit, but it looks like it's a pinch there. Goes into the corner, drops down, and Camo can take care of that. TRG drops it down. Camo leaves it for TJX. 20 seconds, good bump there. Hesso can take over, Hesso can he get a ball to the middle, no he goes for a shot himself, maybe should have gone for the pass deck because there was something straight in the middle just to get a better shot maybe, but we see still Stealth 7 Vision in the offense, a good bump but TJ actually great clear, he's not going in but at least it gets the ball onto the side of Stealth 7 Vision, they need to do something now in offense but they can't, Cypher Orange will take this game one with a very good 2-1. I think it was just a bit of a nervy force game, Dennis. I know I said I've seen some good Rock League, but there was a lot of nerves there as well. I've seen two passes into midfield from both sides with nobody there. So I think just 
maybe a lack of calms from both teams is just uh, reflect reflecting on their gameplay and they're just uh, not really settling into this game yet. Yeah, yeah it, maybe it wears some nerves because we see much offense from Zypher Orange and, you know, only two goals in that eight shots. It's not really good accuracy. We've seen much pressure from Zypher Orange on the shot seven vision side. In the end, we saw some good defense for South 7 Vision as well, but they really got to need some more pressure, South 7 Vision, on the Zypher Orange side to be able to get some of those next games because it's not looking that great for them right now. Zypher Orange is, is pretty much all the game now. I mean, it's only a one goal difference in this game, but it could definitely change to a, a two goal, or maybe a three goal difference in next games. But we'll see how next games will turn out. We're going into game two and Zypher Orange is leading with one game. It's a really good, great series so far. And the Zypher Orange, it's, uh, they have all it on their hands if they take this game too, or if Cell 7 Vision will equalize it here in this series. So we see the players lining up again. Zypher Orange against Cell 7 Vision. Let's see if he can take off now. Between Hesso and TRG. Goes to the side of Zypher Orange. Tim gets it into the corner. Gamma can take control of that, goes to the left side, TJX is faking, looks like he's doing that a lot. Pops it down, can he get it into oh. the net? He can! TJX, what a goal! <laughs> um, that's just that's just a fantastic piece of play by TJX. The one complaint I will have from Stealth 7 Vision is they are very passive in that play. They give TJX the space to pull off that fake and I think they were just playing a bit too passive there, Dennis. Yeah, they definitely did. They're too passive, and TJ actually is going for a lot of fakes, and if you're passive, you know, it's not gonna really work out if you're just waiting. But it's uh, if you're just waiting, then TJ X just do, does something like that. It's a really good shot by him, and uh, after only 30 seconds, I've always is in the lead again. TRG tries to fake, doesn't work for him. TJ X can get it to the left side, Camo is there, pops it up. Looks like no one from Zypho Orange is pushing that. Nightshade, can get it to Tim, can he get a redirect? There's no boost to work with anymore though, Camo. Get it up. TJX is going up for that as well. Hesso to get to the left wall. You see Camel with a good pass at TRG, and that's a great play by Zypher Orange again. 2 0 for them. Yeah, so far just looking like the better side here. Just great pass into the middle by Camel, and it's just it's an open net, really. It's, I, don't know where, I don't know where the defense is for uh, Stealth on that, on that situation. I really don't. Yeah, it seemed a bit of a lack of rotation there, maybe a bit of lack of communication as well, as we saw an open net, but it's a great passing play by Zypho Orange getting themselves two great goals already in this game too. Oh no. See, <laughs> nearly where Camo tries to get that ball down to his teammate, but it didn't really work out. As you see some offense of Cell 7 Vision, the first time they actually get some offense here in this game. So we see TRG, he gets the ball, tries to find Camo, TJ goes for himself. And so he loses the challenge as the TJX and Camo going for that. Tim will take control of that. Good challenge by TRG. Camo is there. Can he get a shot? He can, but not on target. And actually, we will get a kill on that as well. You see TJX gets it to the middle. TRG, can he get it again? No, he can't. TJX can, though. Can he get Where it again? Yes, he does. No defense at all from Cell 7 Vision, indeed. Oh my goodness, I can't even... What's going on here? <laughs> I don't know where... That's the second time they've just had an open net to go at and... I don't know, maybe they're just a bit boost hungry maybe and just leaving the net open for the sake of the big boost when they really shouldn't be. That's not an awkward save. If you're a net with even no boost, you can probably make that save. Babe. Yeah, there definitely should have been someone back post there. No one was back post. Even if you have no boost and back post, they would have saved that ball for sure. But I think someone just went for the big boost and that's not what you want to do in that situation. Definitely not in the Champions Division here. But we see again offense for Cypher Orange. As we see some control now, some possession for Cell 7 Vision. We can see if they can do something with it. They can't as we see good defense there again by Cypher Orange. TJX, can he get it? Go for the fake. Oh, <laughs> TJ did him dirty there. Hat trick for TJ. That, that's beautiful play there. That's very, very good. Nice little fake into the musty. The Bit of a failed musty if I'm being honest, but still still a good baby from TGX. He's really popping off in this game and Celdy just can't handle Zyper at all. Yeah, it looks like TGX is going for player of the week here. It's a great performance already from him in game one and game two. Can he get another goal? Can't. Camo is taking it over. But it's already 4-0 lead and we're not even past half time. So 
yeah, Nayla, what do you think? Self Seven Vision need to do something, need to do else because they're definitely gonna do something else here against this very good side for Orange side. And um, they look like they're just a. I think they are playing very passive, but I think that might be a result of them just struggling for boost at times and. Um, they really just need to work on their boost management and try just focus on getting every single pad they can because Cypher must be taking all the boost pads if they if they're after having that many open nets this game. Yeah, and just like I already said a few times, this aggressive place to offside for Orange again just resulting also in no boost for self 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 vision, a good boost control by the Cypher Orange side. See the pressure again from the Cypher Orange side. So many offense for Cypher Orange and Self Seven Vision can't do anything about it. Gets into the middle camera, backflips. Maybe he saw he couldn't reach it, so that's actually the backflip. So Night Shaver can't really get a TJX to take it over from him. Tim. No one really from Stealth Seven Vision there, as we see TRG going up to the ceiling, going for the ceiling shot. He definitely can get a ceiling shot. Camo there gets to the middle. There's an easy clear for Night Shaver. Maybe they can get some offense now, Hesso. Score it! No. They just needed a shot there because the net was wide open, but he just couldn't find a shot there. But we see um, Tim now. Waves there, probably had no boost. We see really passive there from Hesso. Maybe he should have just challenged that earlier. But it's uh, Hesso still with possession here. Can he get it again? Can he get it to the center for his teammates? Now TJX with a good interception. Yes, yeah, so off the back wall. With only one minute remaining, we still see Cypher Orange. It took a bit of um, a bit of a pause now. They're not scoring every goal now. Still see a 4-0 score on the scoreboard. TJX has no boost to work with. Pops it up, but TH TRG also went for that. Not a good communication there by the Cypher Orange side. TJX just keeps in front of that ball with the fan again, no boost. Camo gets into the corner. Tim whiffs it. Yeah, we're just seeing a lack of consistency really from the Star 7 Vision. They're not really good in defense and they're just riffing a lot as well. But we see a flip we see and it actually goes in, eh? so finally can get a goal for the Star 7 Vision side. Yeah, the one the one positive I have to say for Celtic is Hasso has looked very comfortable and not out of his depth in this uh, in this series. They really need to give him a hand here because Hasso's putting in all the work but he needs a he needs a bit of help from Tim and Night Shaver. Yeah, definitely Hasso has been Pretty good for Stars Have Vision so far. It's definitely be their key player. Also with his flippy set goal, but we see Cypher Orange again in the offense. Tries to go for the fifth goal with 10 seconds left. Tim pops it up. DRG tries to block it. Hesso tries to get it. Can he get it again? No, he doesn't. Night Shaver is there. Can't find the target though. As we see, Hesso can't do really much with it. As they're already three goals down. And there it is, Cypher Orange will take this second game and still Cypher Vision. We really need a reverse sweep here. Yeah, Cypher just going far and up in quick succession there and they just um they just played it out then very smartly. They didn't overcommit, they just killed the clock because they knew they were far and up and they really didn't have to do anything in that game, but just run down the clock and make sure they got the make sure they got the, the win, which was um was surely guaranteed anyway. Yeah, they had some four goal, re really quick goals already in this game. I think in the first half of this game, all four goals of Cypher Orange were scored, and after that, they just uh, they just didn't pressure Star Cypher Vision that much anymore. But Cypher Orange, they are a really good side there, going two games up here, and Star Cypher Vision really need a reverse sweep to secure them this series. But it's been all Cypher Orange so far in this series, so let's see if a game three. We'll tell us the same. Let's see if Cypher Orange can complete their clean sweep or still Seven Vision. We'll give a shot to fight back. TRG against Hesso on the kickoff. I see Night Shaver. Tim now with a clean shot. And he's going on target actually. Camo can get clear there. Camo. There was possession. Gets up for that. Just drops down. Hesso with a great clear. TRG needs to get a save there. And he does indeed. Has no, not much boost to work with though. But the defense of Seven Vision is very patient there as the ball goes from the backboard. TJX is there with an early goal. Just miscommunication by the Stealth 7 Vision, it seems like. Which is very passive there. Hasso was up the other end of the field and he went for boost over ball, which you should never do at this uh, standard. Went for ball over uh, went for boost over ball and then once the the um TG, what was it? It was uh, TRG just had a clean dribble all the way down the field with no pressure. Yeah, it's just really the 
the passive side of Stealth Salvation, not doing much against the offensive side for Orange, and that's what we're seeing all series long, the past two games already. Now we see Night Shaver tries to get a shot in, tries to get it now, TJX and Camo on that save. It looks like if Camo wasn't there, the ball would have gone in, so that's a great backup save there by him. Camo tries to get the game, that's why it's there as well. Camo has no boost. This into the middle could could have been a bit risky, but it's now on the side side for Orange. TRG think that very slowly. Great play by him. And yet there he goes again. TRG again with a goal for his side. Side for Orange, two goals up. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Flip cancels there to give himself a chance to just follow up and touch it past the second player. And then the third player is just Tim is just in no man's land after TRG after making a show a uh, show of stealth there. Yeah, we see just a great side for Orange side. Like all the players are just so individually good. They're just beating out the, their opposition in the greatest ways. We saw some great goals from them already in this series. So let's hope they can make some more as well as we see a defensive mistake by Camo. But DJX is there to recover. Tim now whiffs it by Hesso, gets into the corner. And we see a little bit of pressure from the top 7 vision side, which they really need. Tim is there, onto the wall, TJX blocks it, Tim gets into the middle, and so with a clean shot, gets it in, yes, it gets in, and there's the pushback, tell Seven Vision, finally get a goal. Yeah, there's that man Hassel there, just showing up again, nice positioning for the pass, Tim just hits it straight to him, and the uh, keeper just really never had stood a chance there. Yeah, the keeper just was stood on the ground there, Camo couldn't really do anything there, as you see now, Zyfe Orange trying to get a goal back immediately, but Hesse is just getting the ball out of their hole. Tries to get it again. Can he get something with it? Tries to get a dribble, guys. tries to get a flick over Camo. DJ X now with possession. Tim can block it, but DJ TRG is there. Nice shave, but not a really powerful hit, as it's a clean shot for Camo. DJ X tries to get to the middle to TRG. Great pass by him, as the DJ X tried to pop it out. It's but open. It's open. Yeah, and that's a mistake from Cypher Orange. They're just really pushing up too far again here in the second goal for South Seven Vision. Yeah, that's a good touch from Night Shaver there. He reads the touch very well, and then Tim just smart to wait upfield for the pass. Camo caught a little bit too far. Cypher just getting a bit too comfortable, I think, here, Dennis. Yeah, it's uh, they're really, they're, they really have an offensive play style, but if you have an offensive play style, then defense is what you need to worry about. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. We just saw some open nets already, and now Cell 7 Vision can finally get a goal. And the uh, second goal actually, half time, and they finally equalized. It's in a more equal game here between these both sides. You see Cameron trying to get a flip. He said dunk actually nearly got that. That would have been a very good goal by him. But it's now Tim with the possession. Fakes at one, but it's blocked by the challenge. Nice shaver. Seeing him. Camo gets to the other side. But what do you think, Nayla? Do you think Cell 7 Vision can come back from this? Um, can come back into this series? Because they're, of course, two, two games down. Do you think they can get a reverse sweep going here? Yeah, well, the thing is now that they're 2 they're two nil down, so they have nothing to lose here. So the pressure's off. Just go and give give a good account to yourselves and show them. Show, show ECZ what sort of Rocket League you're able to play. You're in this division for a reason, so got to just like put it in a good challenge and leave it a bit of dignity at least yeah definitely they um they need to make something happen here then they want to show them why they're in the champion division and again an open net oh self have vision good goal there by tim yeah tim seems to be a bit of the poacher type he's just waiting there camo didn't really need to didn't really need to jump like that he could have held his flip and hit a safe or even took a touch Mate, I'd, I'd blame his teammates for not coming and letting him know he had a bit of time there. Yeah, it's it's just a bit of a rotation mistakes there. They have really good offensive uh, rotations, I thought, but in defense they got to work on that because a lot of times it leaves the net wide open. As you see, a good offense here again, TRG, the offensive powerhouse of Zypher Orange gets to go again. Yeah, TRG getting a much needed goal for Zypher there. Uh, nice slayer, it's a nice shaver there, it's just waiting for the ball to come down he should really be up quicker making the read instead of waiting for the ball to come down to him yeah and it's three all up between side for orange style seven vision a quick response from the side for orange side can they get a goal again no TRG just get bumped away Tim just gets the ball out of their off 
TRG gets it into the left side. No one really there from that forward, so he follows it up himself. Gets to the middle, but it's just too close to the back wall to do something with it. And so we'll take it up to the wall. Two players that are going for that from South 7 Vision. It's not really what you want to see. TRG from the back wall. Chairman now, can he get a shot on target? No, he can't. TJX is there, and that's an open net, and that's the fourth goal of South Orange. Yeah, my chamber was never getting to that first ball, and he wasn't close to the second one either. He should have waited off the first. The first ball was hit so hard he wasn't going to get there. He should have waited for it to come off the crossbar and then make a good touch. Instead, he kind of made a mess of being last man and left his team in trouble there, scrambling. Yeah, and now with 45 seconds left, it's South Side of really need the pressure on um, for Orange. Because if if they don't score a goal anymore, they, uh, they're out of this series with a clean sweep, and that's not what they want. But we see some offense now. Again? It's just a shot on the post, Hesso. Couldn't really find the net. 30 seconds to go. Ball to the middle. Hesso is there. Has some time to work with. TJX is about to push there. Hesso, can he get, get nice. another hit? He can, but it's on the crossbar. But now Tim, he actually scores. Great goal by him. Yeah. That's a great pass into the centre there. Nice no, should really put that away first time, but Tim comes in very smartly as toward man and Tim that's a hat trick now for Tim. Coming up big in game four uh, game three for uh, Yeah, it's uh, it's been a great uh, goal for Tim and Stelz have a vision, really important one. TJX with a demo! Camo, good demo by him, but TJX couldn't really find a net there. Good save. But we see some great offense, but still Zyphon can't find the net for the fifth time in this game. And we see an overtime, South 7 Vision on the nerves now, because if they get scored on, they get clean swept. But we're seeing some offense now from South 7. Tim, it's actually South 7 on demos now, but it leaves the net wide open. But Zyphon Orange is not quick enough in time to get some offense going. See the ball going up. Save by Night Shaver. TJX can get the ball to the middle, go from back wall. Demo. Again, demo for TJX on Tim. We get a goal and demo. We've seen those already a couple of times since I've orange. And so gets under the ball, TJX can get a hit though. But not on target, TJX. Or uh, Tim can get a flick to Esso. The ball gets to the other side. And it seems like Nele, both teams are a bit passive around this overtime. They really don't want to get scored on, but especially Stealth 7, they really need this goal. So what do you think they need to do else in this overtime to get to secure themselves this game? Uh, Stealth 7 just need to keep on doing what they've been on, doing all game and just... Oh my god, that's... Oh my god, no way. What are we seeing? <laughs> Stealth 7 need to hit the ball, Dennis. Stealth 7 need to hit the ball and... They just didn't. Yeah, if you don't hit the ball there, then you know in the end it's gonna be Cypher Orange taking this game in this overtime. Yeah, it's been it's been just all Cypher Orange. And in the last part, I actually hoped for Cell Seven they would take this series, but they just they were just really struggling in defense. Really passive play style by them, and sometimes it works, but definitely not against this aggressive Cypher Orange side. So Cell Seven Vision are going down here in this series. 3-0 down in the clean sweep for Zypher Orange. And that would put Cell 7 in last place with Crimson Hawks and Good Island Tempest. Two games um, played and both getting clean swept. First by pushing gaming now by Zypher Orange. The Zypher Orange, that would mean after four games, the underdogs of this season will go three wins and one lose. So yeah, great season so far for Zypher Orange, but Cell 7 Vision really need something else in the next games to secure this season not um, relegating. So... Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's been a great series so far. And Cypher Orange, it's a uh, yeah, great performance by them. In the end, Cypher Orange also taking this series. Yeah, it's Cypher are just the more dominant team in this game. Um, definitely the deserved winners. I think, I think um, Stealth 7 Vision just kind of allowed them to play how they wanted, though. And then when the third game came around and Stealth Vision had no choice but to step up and actually play, like stick it to cyber they um they really showed what they could do but it was too late and then a big whiff from hasso who was I, I feel bad for hasso hasso was their best performer in, in this game and i think he was just low boost and got cut out on the, the goal line there and just it's it, it always hurts when you go into an overtime and you can see the goal it 
straightforward goal like that, it really, uh, it really hurts. But hopefully, Self Vision can just take that on the chin and hopefully they watch this back and re not realize where they went wrong and just fix that passive play side because they can't afford to be nervous and play slow in this division because. As you can see, if they're coming up against teams like Cypher, they're just not going to stand a chance if they keep this, if they decide to play like that and show show Cypher a bit too much respect than any other team like that. Yeah, Cypher Orange, a really great performance by them. And um, it's a really good result to get into this Champions Division. But that's all for today. Cypher Orange clean sweeps South Savage Visioneer in week four of ECC. So um, if, if you have anything else to uh, to say, Nader, do it now. Um. Stealth Vision, stop playing so passive. Zoyfar, keep it up. Um, thanks, everyone, for uh, tuning in. Um, and we will chat to you again, Dennis, won't we? Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, everyone, thank you for watching. I want to thank also Godellis for sponsoring this uh, this season of ECC. I want to thank Kersey in the back for streaming. And I want to thank uh, you know everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream. Goodbye. Peace.